my wife and I, are, you know, opposites attract. It's, it's amazing. She's intuitive and spontaneous. I'm logical and structured. And it, it comes with, with financially, it's the same way. One, almost every couple, one person's a saver, one person's a spender. In our relationship, I'm the saver and my wife is the spender, and we're both very good at what we do. <laughs> so we recently got, a, 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 like a distant relative died and left us $6,000 out of the blue. So we each budgeted it, and I said to my wife, here's how I'd like to spend it. I'm a guy, but I want to spend it. So I want to get a QLED TV, an 85 inch big TV, right? And that, that's $47.99, and then I want to save the rest, $1,201. That's, that was my plan. She looked at this, and amazing to me, she goes, that's all you're gonna save? And I'm like, well, what do you mean? She goes, I got a much better plan than that. I went, I got excited. I'm like, we're well, gonna save more? T tell me more. She goes, well, first of all, forget about your TV for now. What we really need is a new couch, a new uh, coffee table, and a new rug, because the other ones are almost five years old. They're out of style. I'm like, ah! She goes, I can get the uh, couch for $2,900, uh, I get the coffee table for $9,900, and the uh, rug for $19,99. And I quickly added it in my head, and I said, well, that's $59.97. I added it in my head, and that's only $3 in savings. She goes, what are you talking about? It's way more savings than that. I said, how do you figure? She goes, well, first of all, that's the sale price. The actual price of the couch was $44.99. I saved $1,500. The coffee table, that was $16.99. I saved another $700 there. The rug I got for, look at, $2,000 off of the rug for a total savings of $4,200. Wait, she went on. I'm now gonna take that $4,200 that I just saved, buy that television, which I found on sale, saving another $800 for a total savings of $5,000. <laughs> I'm like, honey, you are so hot right now. How did you do that? One thing she's upset with me is I won't go shopping with her anymore. I, I can't. I'm older. I can't keep up. I get cramps. I get weak. And she goes, well, you just don't want to hang out with me. I said, no, I just, I don't shop like you. She goes, what are you talking about? I go, when I shop, I don't shop the same way. She goes, well, how do you shop? I said, oh, I'll show you. I got a GPS tracking device. Here's how I shop. And then I tracked her. So here's, I need a pair of pants. Here's how I shop. Here's how Don shops. I walk in the mall, take a left, take a right, buy some pants, take a left, take a right, and go home. <laughs> that takes me six minutes and costs me $33. I am done shopping for 2020. I got my cargo pants, I'm ready to go. Same thing, Laura needs to go shopping. She needs a pair of pants. Here's how Laura does it. She walks in the mall, there she is right there. Three hours, 26 minutes, $876. So my wife saw me do this bit. She goes, you're not asking yourself the right question, mister. Ask yourself who's the more efficient shopper, Mr. Smarty Cargo Pants. Let's do the analysis. You, Don, you spent $33 in six minutes. That's a cost per minute of $5.50 per minute. I, Laura, spent $876 in two and six minutes. That's $4.25. I kicked your butt. <laughs> I love it when you talk nerdy to me, honey. Talk nerdy to me.